Right. All still. Um, I and others have submitted uh, comments and identified three major fatal flaws in the water supply plan. The water management district staff failed to address the fatal flaws, and I would urge you to return the plan uh, to your staff to have these flaws addressed. I consider the, the errors fatal because the water supply plan does not meet the requirements of Florida statute that addresses water supply planning. Uh, the first flaw, the first flaw uh, is the planning period used, which goes uh, 2015 to 2035. Florida statute requires that water supply plan plans must be based on at least a 20-year planning period. The definition of planning implies looking at the future. Since it is now January 2017, the planning period should have uh, should be extended to at least uh, 2037. The failure to use the required 20-year planning period impacts the total flow that must be returned to the Lower Santa Fe River uh, by identified projects. This failure affects my substantial interests. It would be a shame to uh, require an administrative law judge to evaluate this issue when it is so easily addressed in the water supply plan. All the districts need to do is extend their projections to 2037 or even better to 2038. The second error occurs in meeting the requirement that the capacity of the projects included in the plan must exceed the uh, <coughs> identified needs. There are several errors associated with this requirement. The plan does not accurately calculate the flow required to meet the MFL at the Fort White gauge. Uh, that would come from the, the listed projects. The error is in the language and methods on page 43 of the plan. Uh, the, uh, the plan reduces uh, the need for projects by using conservation and the water supply development projects listed in Appendix K. The problem is that the plan does not calculate the benefits of conservation or water supply development project for the Fort White gauge. The total capacity of the projects is included in the benefit. So, for example, the 50 million gallons a day that would come from uh, Duval County's reclaimed water projects would benefit the Fort White gauge probably by less than 5 million gallons a day and more likely uh, even less than 1 million gallons a day. Uh, this is why all the listed projects need to be modeled with the North Florida Southeast Georgia groundwater model to obtain the data uh, for the water supply uh, plan that is required by statute. The, uh, the statute also requires that water resource development projects identify benefits to uh, water resources associated with prevention and recovery plans. Uh, the plan does not provide those, uh, that data. And finally, the uh, plan fails to address the Santa Fe Lakes MFLs. The uh, uh, statutes do not allow for uh, you to not deal with MFLs that been, have been uh, established but are being reevaluated. The latter two items also uh, affects my substantial interest. Again, I would urge you not to adopt the draft of the water supply plan that you currently have before you and instead return it to your staff to correct the fatal flaws. The staff time required to correct the fatal flaws in the draft water supply plan is likely to be less than the time required to just to respond to discovery requests uh, that would be part of an administrative hearing process. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Emily Taylor. 